Assalamualaikum and hello. So I'm going to introduce to you our first chapter for this semester. This is chapter one, and the title is Matter. We are going to learn four subtopics in this chapter. The first subtopic is definition and classification. The second one, states of matter. 1.3 elements and the last subtopic physical and chemical changes so please stay with me until the end of the chapter so let's go to the first subtopic what we are going to learn which is about learning outcomes for this subtopic so in first subtopic we are going to define what is matter and how you want to classify them the second subtopic you are going to learn and explain about the general properties of solid, liquid and gas in terms of its arrangement of particles, shape, density and its compressibility. The third subtopic, we are going to define element and also identify the elements in predictable that exist as atoms and molecules. And last subtopic, where we are going to describe about the physical and chemical changes of matter. So in this video, I'm going to introduce to you for the first subtopic, where we are going to learn at the end of the lesson, where you should know how to define matter and also how to classify them if an example is given to you. So let's go to the definition first. So what is matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. The most important word here you have to understand adalah perkataan occupy space and has mass. These two keywords must be written in your answer for definition of matter and also comes with the subject anything. So, anything perkataan dekat depan tu, awak perlu letak sebagai dia punya subjek dan keyword yang perlu ada adalah occupy space dan has mass. So, apa yang uh, dimaksudkan dengan occupy space, it means that everything in this word and it has mass. Uh, okay, so what is uh, example? So, examples yang kita boleh nampak, uh, yang boleh kita faham Contohnya udara, air, binatang, pokok-pokok dan juga atoms Di mana atoms, molecules or ions Benda yang kita tak nampak dengan pandangan mata kasar Tapi kita nampak dia punya zarah kalau kita guna mikroskop So itu adalah juga disklasifikasikan sebagai matter So now we are going to classify the matter that we got as an examples. So the first thing that you have to know that matter is categorized into two parts. The first part is pure substance and the second part is mixture. So under pure substance, we got element and compound. And under mixture, we got homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Make sure you Bring perkataan mixture ini all together Bila awak letak dalam awak punya jawapan Jangan sekadar tulis homogeneous sahaja Mesti tulis full Homogeneous mixture Okay So what is element? Element for example that we know Everything in the predictable So those are elements For compounds the trick is Usually it comes with chemical formula so, for example, we got H2O. I hope everyone can know this. This is the chemical formula for water. And then we got CO2, chemical formula for carbon dioxide. We got NaCl, chemical formula for sodium chloride. And last but not least, uh, we got C6H12O6. This is the chemical formula for sugar. Atau in biology terms, we use as glucose. So, itu adalah contoh untuk compound. And as you can see, everything under compound, dia usually ada chemical formula. 
Okay, next one, we got mixture. In Malay, we call it as campuran. So, kita ada campuran, uh, two of them, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. For homogeneous mixture, usually, uh, example yang Miss lalu guna adalah coffee drinks. For example, kita ada komponen iaitu yang pertama, coffee powder. Komponen kedua, kita ada air panas. So, kita mix both of them, both components, both of them together. Kita akan dapat air kopi, coffee drink. So, dan kita nampak coffee powder akan dissolve completely in the hot water. So, itu adalah homogeneous mixture. And then use, usually homogeneous mixture ni dia ada one layer sahaja. Okay. And then for example benda yang sama juga macam sugar water. Kita mix sugar with water. Okay. So untuk heterogeneous mixture pula. Contoh yang miss bagi adalah pizza, sand, pasir ataupun fruit salad. So for example pizza. Kita beli pizza dekat Pizza Hut ke dekat Domino's. We got our own pizza with a lot of choices for the toppings. So, maksudnya toppings tu kita boleh letak uh, crab stick, kita boleh letak nenas, kita boleh letak sayur-sayur. So, nampak tak dia ada banyak components dekat situ. So, itu yang dimaksudkan dengan heterogeneous mixture. Di mana kita ada distinct components yang kita boleh nampak. Dan kebiasaannya, heterogeneous mixture ini, dia consist of two or more layers. Okay? So, itu adalah cara untuk awak classify them. Now, we go to definition each of those term yang kita dengar tadi. So, Definition untuk pure substance. Pure su substance is a matter that has constant composition. Maksudnya, komposisi yang sekata and distinct chemical properties throughout the sample. Next one, element is a simpler substance that cannot be broken down into simpler substances by chemical means. Ia bermaksud, elements ni adalah Chemical uh, adalah substance yang paling simple dalam bentuk. Ha, dan kita tak boleh dah nak ceraikan dia kepada bentuk yang lebih kecil daripada itu. Okay, so itu adalah yang dimaksudkan dengan elemen. Seterusnya, kita ada compound is a substance that contains two or more elements that are chemically combined. So, tadi kita dengar perkataan elemen. Bila compound, maksudnya elemen sama ada yang sama ataupun yang berbeza chemically combine untuk dapatkan dia punya form yang baru. Okay, so itu adalah compound. And the next one, the general definition for mixture adalah is a combination of two or more substances ataupun awak boleh gunakan Uh, components in which the substances retain their identity. Maknanya chemical properties dia tak berubah. Retain. Maknanya maintain. Next one kita go in more specific about homogeneous mixture is a mixture with no visible separation. As you can see here maksud no visible separation adalah one layer. And then we also got The last one, heterogeneous mixture, is a mixture in which components can be visibly distinguished. So, maksud perkataan visibly ataupun visible adalah apa yang kita nampak dengan mata kita. Dengan pandangan mata kasar sahaja. Okay? So, itu adalah berkait rapat apabila awak diberikan examples dalam latihan nanti. So... I think that's so far for our first video about definition of matter and how you want to classify them into pure substance or mixture ataupun lebih spesifik sama ada dia adalah element or compound or homogeneous mixture or heterogeneous mixture. Make sure you read the question carefully whether dia nak dalam awak punya classify them as general Maksudnya pure substance ataupun mixture ataupun dia nak spesifik di mana empat yang saya tick di sini.
okay so that's all for this video i hope you've learned something new today or maybe you can refresh back what you've already learned that's all from me thank you for watching